guys, welcome to Higan Eruthil, and we're doing a build guide for Aaron's. Should you, you know, should you decide to pull for him at this point, you might be wondering why you should pull for him. I'll give you some, you know, some pros and cons on his kit, and we'll be starting off with his stats. Okay, so for his stats, priorities would go first with HP. Um, a lot of his um, modifiers and his skill is driven by HP. The other one is going to be AD. The other two would be crit rate and armor. Okay, so those are the modifiers that you should concentrate or the stats that you should concentrate on, but focus more on HP and AD. Okay, so moving on, let's uh, talk first about his recommended plays. Um, looks like uh, Thor. So he's a blacksmith, um, I think by profession. But we'll go to his place so that we could more or less, you could more or less decide on what to equip him should you get him or you already have him in your roster. Okay, guys, for his plays, I am recommending. Um, if you don't have any, uh, you can start with Karota here. So this is to enhance his AD. One of the best three-star sets that we have. But this is only for AD enhancement. And um, increased damage dealt by basic attack. So very decent if you don't have any of the next plays that we're going to be talking about. The next one would be in the five star, uh, sorry, four star realm. Um, it's going to be Phantom. Increase max HP by 10, which he needs, as I mentioned, after casting a skill or ultimate, which he will do mostly. Increase AD by 30% within five seconds. So this one is a decent one for you to equip with him. I'm sure you guys have uh, a lot of this lying around. So Phantom would be one for a four star. The other one for four star, which I think would be good for him as well, is going to be Eluda. Increase AD by 10. Increase increase basic attack damage by 3% per second. Should you want him to deal more damage and up to 10 stacks, all stacks will be will be will expire when changing the target. But um, here is the one that I'm re really recommending for you guys. Should you want to build Aaron in terms of um, having max HP and also uh, adding to um, damage mitigation for him and his team, then you should go for Lady Bai. Although I think he is built, uh, he, he is actually a hoplite, but technically he is built like a guardian. I don't know. Yeah, like a guardian. So this one would be best for him. Okay. I'm just going to be uh, discussing this. So the, the, this is roughly damage mitigation and increased max HP. One other play that I'd like to you know discuss because this you guys will be asking this. There's a banner out. Um, is also Vita. Vita is a five star increased max HP, which is actually perfect for him. But this one is what I think you should decide on for yourself whether you're going to use Vita or not. When HP is below 35, instantly heals for 40% of max HP. This effect may trigger only one time each battle. So take note, uh, although this effect is a very, very nice effect, this only triggers once. Okay, but I'm not recommending this um, because, again, if, if uh, the battle goes long, then uh, once it triggers once, you can't have it trigger anymore. Okay, so I'd rather go with the damage uh, reduction, which uh, Lady Bai has, over that one. Okay, so we'll move on to skill priority and see how we're going to be building him. Okay, before we go to skill priority, currently I'd, I have incomplete sets of Vita and uh, Lady Bai, but what i'm after right now is the hp plus 15 percent that is why i'm equipping it i'm actually going to equip him with lady by if i have a complete set not necessarily for vita i got this in a i don't know off banner pool if i could remember 
Um, but that is it. So more or less, you can actually use Steel Lady Buy if you have two. You'll just have to activate the HP percentage bonus. Okay, moving back to his skills. One of his priorities, I think, that you should uh, work on first and foremost is going to be his passive. Okay, take it. Take note that the passive that he is having is dependent on who you're going to be bringing. So first is dependent on a guardian. So if you have a guardian character in your team, he gains 20 attack AD, 20% at AD, 35% bonus attack speed and 20% crit rate so he becomes more offensive okay so either way the passive is one of the best to develop because he gets stats stat increases here you don't have to do anything it's always on as long as you meet the criteria if you don't have a guardian if you have him and another hoplite for example in the front or three of them are hoplites if you don't have a guardian simply put um, Aaron, uh, max HP is going to be increased by 20 to 24%. Again, if you increase this, uh, let's just upgrade this once. Okay, so as you upgrade it, the, the percentage increase as well, which is very, very nice. As far as the others, it's a fixed stat. So 20, 35, and 20 is still the same. So you'll be increasing this one. So... Again, you have a buffer armor, you have a buffer damage taken reduced, and you have a buff for max HP. These are going to be increasing as you level up this stat. Okay, so moving on to the next one, after you prioritize the passive, next will be the ultimate because this one makes him even tougher. So he gains 40 bonus armor and magic resistance this will last forever so as it says here so this is going to be permanent okay so this one the hephaestus craft is max three stacks the unit the unit buff gains additional hp equal to this so there's another hp bonus and which makes him more tougher of iron's ad Within its effective range, all allies' AoE damage is reduced by 35%. So, if uh, he has a team with him, you do a Wrecking Ball. We'll discuss a Wrecking Ball later. So, he also gives AoE reduction. And all damage taken is absorbed by Hephaestus Craft. So, but take note, if uh, it's broken, then Aaron will be stunned for 3 seconds. So, take note of that. But again, this is a very, very nice skill to have because it protects your team, especially the front line, especially after you activate the Wrecking Ball. So passive first, ultimate second as priority. Third would be active. The Wrecking Ball is actually third because the Wrecking Ball, whether it's in you know the first uh, level or the ultimate level, you're still going to be having the Wrecking Ball. You still have that. So... Again, this is the third to level up. So Aaron uh, puts his nearby allies into a wrecking ball. Take note that um, when he says nearby allies, it's usually melee allies that he brings to the wrecking ball, inside the wrecking ball. It's not the caster and the ranger at the back. So all guardians or hoplites with near near him, unless if you're, you know, your 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 uh, range characters move forward then they'll be included because they're nearby but technically um it's gonna be melee characters that are going to be going with him then propels the ball to the target enemy and deals physical damage equal to ad percentage also the enemy hit will be stunned for two seconds this skill is perfect whether it's going to be pve or pvp for pvp this is going to be a headache of a skill because you're going to be going through the defense and going through the softer targets at the back iron the wrecking ball take 50 percent less damage and knock knock back all enemies on route so take note this skill is going to be 
is going to take effect whether it's it's level one or level ten that is why it is going to be the third okay the damage is not really important the basically the the stun and the you know the the going through the front enemy that is what is important of this skill so level this up third then the last one would be the basic attack okay so we will have to go through awakened priorities uh as far as he is concerned phase four is a big bump okay it's a big crucial step in terms of awaken because if you're trying to build a fire based team in which you have four obviously so pyro characters gain 15 bonus crit rate which is kind of silly because again you have um two of the most um high dps units in the game you have rita you have Sirslet. if you built them with crit rate then therefore they're gonna benefit benefit from this so if not upon taking a fatal hit becomes immune to all damage for five seconds can only occur one time per battle so even if he's about to die you could actually use this if you're not going to use him in a all pyro team okay next up is phase five phase five is um, a shield pyro character subsequent 10 basic attacks deals damage equal to 70 percent of own ad this as well is a nice buff to an all pyro team the next one is a is just a buff to it is a skill is a uh, skill triggered by uh, his awakened ability so gain shield equal to 300 percent ad within six seconds i like this better the first one if especially if you have not all not even if if it's not an all pyro team majority of the team is pyro then this is going to be good and phase six uh, Festo scrap is active recovers hp equal to 100 percent of iron's ad this is actually nice because this gives him healing um sort of a healing when he has hephaestus craft i'd prefer this over this one because this one increased um hp granted by increased by 5 to 35 percent you don't I, I don't think he needs more hp i think this their hp recovery is actually better for him at this point okay so what team works with aaron okay so aaron works definitely works well with a pirate team he's gonna give buffs he's gonna be protecting them aoe um damage reduction you name it um but not only in pyro teams he can be put in any other team it doesn't have to be a pyro team even if you bring a pyro team it does not really mean that you have to have all four you could have three let's say you have Sirslet, rita and other is an off you know off um, element it's still good it's still a good trade-off for the buffs that he's going to be giving okay let's do some um let's do a demo for those who haven't had him yet so and are you know thinking of getting him in a pull in his banner let's uh, try him out in a couple of stages here so let's go with deep maze and uh, I've tried him with one stage here I've actually built a sample team already okay so he is he has only one purpose guys and it's to break the front line so that is why you're bringing him break the front line um damage reduction to his team and also it'll deal decent damage as well so a lot of damage reduction survivability built into his kit and buffs as well for his team so let's do this one so first and foremost if there is a like this one there's a big uh, there's a big uh what do you call this big enemy in front so he winds up and takes them to the back to the boss 
at this point i don't wanna you know i, I don't wanna manual this let's do this auto that is basically how he's gonna be doing it you're gonna be leaving all of your range characters behind but all three of them are going to go up front if you only have two melee at the time you'll be bring, uh, it's gonna be him and another one as well so again it's a very very nice skill to have especially for pvp and uh, more or less if you have him at pvp um you could actually make him your main in, in you know you could use it you could use him in your main team or you could actually use him as one of the members of your multiple teams okay so you've seen the demo at this point um what do i think of aaron he's a really a hard sell because the currency that we have for his banner is actually limited so at this point if you're when you think of aaron he's really an investment for the future he's really an investment for a future team especially if it's a pyro team if you're not thinking about a future investment i don't think he would be uh you know important for you now He's not really, um, if you have um, a lot of going for you for fire, it's okay that you don't get him. It's just that in the future, he is going to be probably one of the mainstays for PvP. Also for your f fire team, if you want to build an all fire team, he's going to be part of that core. So it's really up to you if you want to invest. At this point, it's he's not really a must invest for now the the present but for the future he is actually a must invest in or must pull so that is for me guys that is it for me so what do you think of aaron put your comments down below and hopefully you could share with me your thoughts if you already have him already so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here